Ladies Next week, gents. Paul's going to put wets on. <laughs> <laughs> With snow chains. <laughs> Chewing <laughs> Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Formula Brav. My name is Paul. Hi, my name's Pete. Hi, I'm Ivor Hardon. But what's your name? But I'm Tish. Um, that voice you're hearing is, of course, our good friend Andy. Uh, welcome to the show, Andy. It's always good to have you on. Hi, Paul. Hi, Pete. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. So this week we are at the Red Bull Ring, home of the Austrian Grand Prix, for another in our series of hot lap challenges. And the way it's going to work is Pete goes out and track and sets the time, and then I'm going to come in and uh, try and beat that time. It's really that simple. So uh, with the introductions out of the way, let's get on track and crack on. Pete is out on track, starting, he's done all his practice laps, he's now starting his first of 10 timed laps. Good luck, Pete. We're all counting Thank you, Jim. Thank you. He says as he overshoots the first corner, it's fine, it's fine. Nothing is rubber ducked. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we're here at the... Uh, Red Bull Ring in beautiful kit in uh, what is it? <laughs> got, it's somewhere. Got, <laughs> Spielberg. That's Austria. Right. Did you not Spielberg. say Spielberg? Spielberg, Austria. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Home of the uh, home of the Austrian Grand Prix since 1970, I believe, in one form or another. Although it's not been continuously held there. And uh, we have a lovely sunny day. So uh, <clears throat> Pete's looking Thanks for a yeah. Pete's looking for a target time of around I think high sixteens, low seventeens. Mm. And how confident are you today with the shoulder? It's still a little bit sore, but I've taken my meds to try and. <laughs> Not enough pain. You're gonna grit your teeth. <laughs> and he's a one eighteen six. Oh, I tell you what, that's six. not a bad, really. You know, first lap is it? One eighteen six. He's uh, a little way off his best time. Yeah, yeah, but for a warm up, you know, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not embarrassing. No, no, certainly not. <clears throat> And look, he's already. Oh, I think you've got. Oh dear, <laughs> spoke too soon. I was just about to say, oh, a nice big purple sector there. You got your work cut out for you. And then he went just a bit too deep. <laughs> I gained it. <laughs> How's it feeling, Pete? Are you confident? Uh, not particularly. I did have a little uh, practice before we came on, and oh, uh, it was very inconsistent. Ooh. So. Well, you're inconsistently a second up there, so um, that's a good inconsistent start. I'm uh, consistently inconsistent, I think, is the. Uh... <laughs> well, we can only ask you to maintain that inconsistency. Indeed. As he crosses Only his line on 117, that point. is good, that is a good lap. That is good. That is very good. There you go, Ooh, look, we're only two in. Yes. This so, could be an exciting challenge for a change. Yes, hopefully. 
So while I'm here, I should remind everybody that we do have an email. If you'd like to write to us with your comments or questions, you can do so by writing to formulabrav at yahoo.com. That's formulabrav, one word, at yahoo.com. Or if, you, uh, if you're on Facebook, you can join us on our Facebook page. Um, search Formula Brav on Facebook or just uh, follow the link below. And while we're on uh, the subject of uh, emails, I should read out uh, an email that we have here. Um, Go for it. It, uh, it reads, Dear Formula Brav, My good friend who is usually bright and witty is starting to become extremely forgetful and confused. Is this just old age or something more serious? Um, P.S. He does occasionally dabble with the Rastafarian old Hoban. Could this have something to do with it? And that's from a concerned friend in Southeast Asia. We have viewers in Southeast Asia. Well, that, is, that's, oh. that's good news for a start. You, yeah. We and, are. And, be, and before we even contemplate responding to that, I should mm. m- mention that, that Pete is being wildly inconsistent in keeping with his, uh, his normal form. So, uh, well done, Pete. Thanks. Keep up that inconsistency. So, yeah. so you say that he's becoming forgetful. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, I'll pass this over to you in a second, now, but if I can just put my two pence mm. worth in here. Uh, you know, obviously, this is, this is a very serious uh, thing, and, uh, you know, we should give it its... Uh, it's uh, due care and attention. Um, with old age, so. people do get you know, forgetful. So, I mean, that's, you know... Uh, just, no. oh, oh, and Pete comes oh. off there. Oh, just Pete forgetting how to much. take a corner there. Oh, uh, yeah. Just too much. Old age kicking in. <laughs> well, <laughs> has that lap ruined? <laughs> Was it was it the rest of old Dobin or is it was it in fact the Alzheimer's kicking in? For that particular definitely, term? Defi- definitely the former. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So, so yes, so Paul, no, you were I was saying. Ju- I was just saying yes. Of course, old age does uh, does contribute to uh, forgetfulness. But I mean, unless that person is seriously becoming seriously forgetful, like not knowing the difference between today and tomorrow, then mm. um, then I would recommend you seeking uh, professional medical help. Wow. Yeah, that would be my advice. Oh, and Penalty, Pete, say, look, oh, oh, oh. half a second, ignored the track limit. Oh, That's a new one, I don't think I've a, ever had that come up before. <laughs> a, a good lap to do it on, though. Yeah, you already, you already messed that one up, so... Yeah. It was fine. Yeah. Yeah, so you, have you got anything to add to that, Andy, or have I pretty much covered uh, it? S- sorry, what, what was the question again, Paul? <laughs> I, w- I would say that that, that um, there are there are times in in someone's life where they've they've built up a relationship with somebody over I don't know forty years or so right. where they they can they can trust what that person actually says to be clear accurate and concise um, <laughs> and sometimes sometimes that that um, accuracy um, with with their their factual right. representations to you. Right can be somewhat mm, mm. shall we say misleading yeah 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 um and regardless of of how much uh of the herb somebody yeah. might actually um yeah. consume in a particular day doesn't necessarily mean that they're losing their marbles right i mean in terms of misleading would mis- misleading be like when somebody says they're using their usb mic when they're actually using their headphone mic that kind of, that kind of misleading or just an example. Yeah, I, I, I mean, these are just examples that I'm just pulling out of thin air. Thin air. Random, just, thin air. Know, just random hypotheticals. And yes, in no way, uh, you know, are meant to be directed at any one person in particular. So, uh, Andy. There you go. And he's up, he's up with his time. <laughs> I think ultimately the, the last thing that we should say on that subject is... The herb does no damage whatsoever to your long or short term. Uh... <laughs> fuck is the word? <laughs> oh, very good. Anyway, very good. Who, who's actually on track at the moment? Oh, yes. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, purple, purple. Yes, he's up by a tenth of a second. Yeah, um, but that would that would take him into the uh, high one sixteen. Well, it would take him into if he his was to maintain this. Territory. Oh, rapidly! 
rapidly uncontrolled lap. Oh, here it is. Go on. Hammer it. Hammer it. Come on, Pete. Oh. Yes. Ooh. That is what? now his... Sub 117. His, yeah, that's his personal best, so... Let's What's see your if personal I can go best here, Paul? My personal best? Yeah, yeah. On the on the super soft tyres. Oh, oh, I've gone dear. totally off. <clears throat> on the super soft tyres, it's fifteen four, I think. Mm. Uh, I will be going out on the hard comp. Oh, he's off again. Ah, what ah, is going ah, on? Ah, I told you my consistency <laughs> is just shot. Your today, consistency yeah, is low. Low consistency. And he does have a. He does. He has performed at his best. Let's put it that way. Lap what is seven. He's, he's put a it's it's my Did best and my worst. Let's be honest. <laughs> all, all at the same time. Yeah. You're a multifaceted individual. It's the light exactly. and dark. The exactly. Exactly. I like to end. deliver both sides. Yeah. <laughs> Equilibrium. You know. Harmony. Balance. You look at balance. You look at human Tia Maria. <laughs> Oh, Come on, Dave. You can do this. This is a. This is a. I find this is a particularly uh, difficult track. I always find this awkward. He's, yeah, he's alright. Hold on to that. It was Poiple. And Poiple. While, while we're watching this, I just want to say to everybody, if you have not seen it, please watch the Brazilian Grand Prix. Yeah, it no. was an absolute cracker. Um, well, thanks to some, <laughs> some Ferrari magic intervention. Oh, yeah, unbelievable. But a great action-packed Grand Prix. Really good. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, that's a, that's a quick time. It's huge. It's huge. Yeah, that is. That's going to be a bit of a shallow. Did eight. you say you're going to go out on hard tyres? Well, I may have to change. <laughs> I may have, <laughs> may to, have go to, to go to mediums. Change your mind. Oh, oh my goodness! It's not bad, is it? Oh my goodness! Maybe mediums would be the way to go. He's too quick. He's too damn quick. So we've got two more laps. Did you think ah. it was a strange? Oh, did you think it was a strange decision for Mercedes to bring Lewis in for those uh, softs right at the end there? Well, he in a press conference he said that was his decision and not the team. Yeah, yeah. Well, they did. Yeah, they didn't have to. They could have said no to stay out. I suppose he's he, coming he, anyway. You know what Lewis did, is like. He did say in the in the post race interview that. Um, that you know, that it doesn't matter what strategy they they did, they were never gonna. You know, they they couldn't have done anything better. No, no. Well, he, he could have done something better by not taking Albon out of the race and finishing. <laughs> I thought it was strange after he hit him. It's almost like he sort of stopped. Like he. Yeah, yeah. I, I said exactly the same thing. It was like almost as if he was going to get out of the car and apologise. <laughs> 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 yeah. Here are my details. Yeah, oh, we've got other people joining the room here. This is uh, this is because I didn't make the room private. Excellent. Uh, see? And, it's uh, all right, it's all right. It's the last lap. It's the last lap and I'll be out. Yeah. Well, we've never had an interloper before. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to beef up security. Yeah, get some bouncers on the door. Oh, he's gone. Oh, come on! Oh. I think we can safely say that Pete's got his best time. Yep. Not sure he's going to... It's not going to be better, is it? No, it's not going to be better this lap. No. Nope. Going through the motions. Talk amongst yourselves. It's fine. <laughs> Oh. Second and a half down. Oh! 
Ooh. That's fine. To be expected. Oh, gone hard! Oh, gone hard! Too hard! Too hard! Oh, too hard! I'm right off! That's a penalty! That's a penalty! Absolutely! Terrible finish! Oh, good grief! No penalty! 116.630 is the time to beat, yeah. mon okay, frere. It's a decent one. On the plus side, you have for the That's first French, time, I think, brother. In, a, uh, in a long while, actually beaten your personal best in a... Yeah! Yeah. So Definitely. Nobody could ask switches. more. Well Indeed. done for that. Well done. Though. I've done all I can. Done all you can. The rest is up to you. Sixteen point <laughs> six three zero. So uh, let me get into the car, see what I can do. So here we are. Start my first timed lap, and a, uh, a sixteen point six three zero to beat. I'm on the hard compact tyre. So what the civil service would uh, suggest is a courageous policy, Paul. Yeah, <laughs> I may have bitten off more than I can chew. Yeah, yeah I, I was surprised at your tyre choice, if I'm honest. Um, I think uh, you've definitely given yourself perhaps more of a challenge than you would have necessarily had to. But uh, if you pull it off, then it will just be uh, It'll make an the example victory of your... even more sweeter. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> so I'm giving myself five laps to do this. And uh, I, uh, I wonder if, uh, if Andy, if you've checked the um, Facebook mail recently for any I did, Paul, messages. just as, as you were doing your outlap there. I thought I'd right. have a quick look in the mailbox, see what's there. And we, we do have another oh, uh, okay. letter from, uh, from Harry, uh, who's incognito, apparently. Oh, and... Okay. Uh, it says, uh, it's titled Always Wondered, and uh, it says, Dear Formula Bruv, uh, long time viewer, first time correspondent, loving the show. Thank you for that, Harry. Uh, my question is twofold. Uh, firstly, do any members of the team know how to maintain dreadlocks? <laughs> and secondly, uh, how long do you estimate it takes to shower a Yeti? Keep up the good work, Harry. <laughs> well, thanks for the, the question, Harry. We're, uh, we're fortunate we do have a resident expert on the panel, um, I think, on both dreadlocks and yetis. So, um, with, uh, with no further ado, uh, Pete, do you want to take this one? Yeah, I'm happy to, uh, to address this one. Thanks, Andy. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, first of all, I'd like to just uh, question where exactly Incognito is. I I've never heard of that as a place. Uh, perhaps Incognito? The viewers just out it, I, I think you'll find it's um, just outside... Um, No, no? Okay. okay. Well, I'll look it up on Google Maps, this one. Uh, but uh, to address the, the, the main question... Well, the, the two... Communicado? Was he? I thought it was Incognito, one of the two. Yeah, maybe he was Incognito, in Burrito. but I think you'll find Cognito is very close to Communicado. It is. It's, well, is it? I guess maybe it is. I think we're getting, uh, yeah. we're getting uh, we're further, down away, down the further away the from... from the, yeah, let's, let's not get uh, dragged down in the minutiae, as they say. <laughs> uh, to answer the question, uh, yes, uh, yetis uh, are, are, are very difficult to wash uh, and hard to find, uh, and uh, dreadlocks are much easier to wash. And, and, uh, and well, I mean, they're already kind of it's the building blocks are there, you know. You just have to make a right mess of your hair, and then so, and that's so what, what happens. What is the, what's the process? I mean, how how do, how do they develop? Uh, how how are they maintained? Well, there are there are different processes, but the the process I used was a combination of backcombing and uh, using a crochet hook to mat the hairs together. Sounds very complicated. Yeah, it's yeah, I can't do hook it. To mat the hairs together, do you know how disgusting that sounds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, and, Andy, and that Andy, was a choice. Was but it? but there is a misnomer. You mis do need to have hair to be able to do this. That is uh, that is one yeah. thing. That's, that's hey, definitely hey. a requirement. Listen, my um, style is a carefully constructed um, uh, uh, a decoy. Uh, I don't want people to, to feel bad about how actually thick and lustrous my hair actually is. And so I have to shave yeah, it right. down into this, this pretend male pattern. Right, right, right. Are you trying to go incognito with your haircut? Is that what's... I, I'm, I'm incommunicado on that one. Thing. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, but it's a misnomer actually. To, people think oh, they they can't be washed. Um, 
they're actually better. Clean dreadlocks are better than dirty dreadlocks. And it's quite fine to wash them. Oh. So there we are. Let me yeah. shout for a minute. Stay you just, you simply don't use conditioner. I mean, mine, I've had mine for years now, so they're, they're mature, as they say. Um, but uh, if, if they were new dreads and I'd wash them just in the same way I'd wash them. Oh, oh, look at that! Squirrel, he, he, he gained it. Yeah, I mean, if I'd washed them just after they'd been done and used conditioner in the same way I would with normal hair, then it would, they would eventually come out. They would, they would fall out. So you just have to use a residue-free shampoo and, and that's it. It's quite simple. And boring. Well, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Harry so, will probably be Harry. disappointed with the, yeah. Uh, yeah. the answer. Sorry, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't, uh, you know, give you something more exciting to chew on, but there we are. Does Harry Them's have a last the facts. name, or... We Bastard, I think. <laughs> uh, no, let me just check. Oh, it's, it's Harry Balzac. It's Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I was close. I was close. <laughs> <laughs> so well, we're uh, we're looking at these um, this these lap. times, and then here, and I'm it. seeing I'm seeing one eighteens across the board. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the failure of a courageous policy. Yeah, I, I think the ch tire choice was in fact the wrong. Should have gone medium. If only reckon? if only somebody had suggested maybe medium tires, you know, mm. um, off air. I don't know. M maybe if if that had happened and. And somebody had actually listened and taken some kind of input or advice. Yeah. Some people you are just know, pig-headed, Andy. You know, yeah, you can't. Well, you, they won't be told. <laughs> it's it's a little bit like it's ignorance. You know, being, it's ignorance of the highest order, as far as I'm concerned. Well, for a lot of our viewers, they'll understand the relationship between Bono and uh, and Lewis in the cockpit, and this is very much the uh, the case between the senior producer and the rest <laughs> of the uh, the producers on this show. Right. Uh, yeah. Regardless of how much we try to encourage, uh, influence, advise, um, hi, hi Lewis. We've James. never got the right got, tires got, on the car. On the wrong tires. Just doesn't sink in. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we put these tires on, guys? This lap is quite fast, but I don't think it's. Fast yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, he's got blue sexes. I mean, it's, it's a good lap, but it's just not right. Ah. You're back in play. Here's another catchphrase. <laughs> he's at least. <laughs> Just under a second away. It's not happening. Yeah, it's, it's not it, happening. It never happened, did it? Well, so that's two weeks in a row that so I've been the champion. Has the tide turned? That's what our viewers are asking. Well, that one's uh, well, probably I'm, self I'm already, I'm already asking, can I make it three in a row? <laughs> Tune in next week to find out <laughs> the gritty, gritty, gripping conclusion. Ladies next week, gents. Paul's going to put wets on. <laughs> <laughs> With snow chains. <laughs> chewing, up, <laughs> chewing up the tarmac. <laughs> what a cock. Uh, uh, well, you know what that means, Pete. I do indeed. Time to roll the animation? It's time to roll the animation. Well done, that's two in a row. Thank you. Good two job. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you, Yes. Well, that's all we have time for today. But before we go, uh, let me say a big thank you to Pete and Andy for making this possible. If you want to see more episodes of Formula Bluff, please remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell notification. Thank you, as always, for joining us. We wish you the best, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>